to intimidate the <laughs> prime reputation as a very good boxer with very fast of course after defeat last September for of the Hawk although that reached boxing federation oh, oh what a left hook what a left hook with that big left hook Mickey, the most unorthodox punch I've ever seen Nicky Perlop is the referee and you know Pryor has a reputation he's one of the best finishers in the business once he gets you hurt setting him up with the jab there's it's off balance and comes back misses again look look at the position where he throws that left box that reputation of being a boxer oh, I think he'll change his style I suppose there are changed a little spirit back Gil as much as he sticks his there's a decent crowd here in Toronto fought but elsewhere other you know in the amateurs Falano B turns not a bit now, and we're nearing the end of round number two, and Ferlano hit for the third round. But look at Aaron move Alexis Arguello last September. The weight title fight with Nick Ferlano of Toronto. That he looked like this and nailed him with that one big left hook. That he thought was going to go in the first round. Oh. That was a good overhand oh, right. He thought it would be the opposite way. We thought Ferlano would be the busy guy. In your mind. And how much Dean Ryder from Varsity Stadium. Body shot from Nick Ferlano. And came to this country with his family when he was three years old was raised here in Toronto. And when you get brave, sometimes you leave yourself wide open. With some more shots, but the effectiveness pushed so far. And then he counters like a snake lying in wait. And as we near the end of the 10th round, it has become a fairly even fight. Opinion on the accumulation of punches that he's thrown. the accomplishments and the efforts of elect and rightly so I've been a great gentleman there's that big prior is busy he's busy Milano throws him he's throwing him with bad intention looks that Milano has landed with three or four rounds it was blocked by Milano but he did 11th round of a schedule 15 will night skies in Canada big combination by Brian this is Milano's biggest round and prior is and having at it with some. Flyer tries that. Of course, you alluded to it a couple of rounds. Digging and putting any snap into those punches. But they, they are, they, he is throwing an off from Nick Ferlano. What causes the effectiveness to be, to not be there? No, the he's not setting. The 12 of Varsity, so Canada. He's taking liberties with Pryor now. Hey. And it, it, it didn't look like he was. Pryor looks. Well, I think he's psyching himself up uh, here in Toronto against Trevor Evel. First round when he's. Have you seen Ferlano fight before? Yes. Yeah. Unity of a lifetime for him, and he was going to. Never lost. Middle of the 13th round. Brian, all I can say is if I was in Aaron's corner, I. That's the left hook out of a counter. That... From Toronto, Canada. Very good amateurs. It's not a bad win because <laughs> nailed Nicky. The combinations almost jabs from Ferlano land. More snap on his punches now. Back with the jab and the overhand right. Back in the latter stage, he got his got his sense of reality back and has fought very in his never been knocked out. Aaron Pryor has his. So, why the fact that every time Falano up until that bell rings to end the fight? Cincinnati brought a lot of blood from. And Falano dodging, bobbing. With He's putting the pressure on Falano now. That left hook missed from Falano, but just by about a fraction of a net right now. But he has really hit. Is going to go the distance it appears. Yep, it has done so.